All right, today, guys, I know you're excited. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. We are going to be simplifying radicals. So this is more kind of like a review of um, what you did in Algebra 1, because you do need this when we get into the distance formula. So that's why we're going to practice a little bit simplifying radicals today. So here we go. All right, so first, I want to make sure that everyone is keeping up with their uh, table of content. Make sure you guys put in the guided practice. We did. If you didn't do that, you still, I mean, you can go back and do that, but just make sure you get in there. Don't wait to the end, because then there's just be too much to try to put in there. All right, so get this up, because I'm going to write directly in my journal today. Again, you can see my guided practice is in here from last time. So I'm going to go to a blank page. Only thing, sometimes when you have a paper on the other side, it's kind of hard to see. So we'll try to enlarge this, and we should be good to go. All right, so here we go. Notes. Ooh, radicals. And we're only going to be sticking with square root radicals. So, so here's my, so I'm going to just do four examples. All right. So we have the square root of 75. So the first thing you want to do is you want to do prime factorization. So you want to break it down. So in this case, I got to think about what numbers I can get to give me 75. If you need to, you can take a calculator and I'll just start dividing. Um, I know it probably needs to be an odd number because there's a 5 here. So I'm going to try to think, I think 3 goes into 75. So I'm pr I can break this down to 25 and 3. All right? If you multiply these together, again, you should get 75. What I tell my students is always continue bringing your stuff down because what happens, sometimes students forget, and then when they start um, pulling stuff out, they mess up. So I'm going to go ahead and break 25 down, which we all know is 5 times 5. And then I go ahead and bring down whatever else is up there so I don't forget it. So since this is a square root, that means I need 2 of something to pull out. So I come down here and I check. Do I have two fives? Yes, yeah, so I'm going to circle it. Do I have any more threes? No. So that means this here has to stay inside the radical. So now what I do that I have two of these, I can pull out one. So I'm going to pull out one five, right? And then I look to see what's left. In this case, I only have a what? Three, so then that just goes in the radical. All right, and we're done. So that's all you do on that. Then for example two, we have square root of 30. Same thing, I'm going to break it down. So I think about what numbers multiply to give me 30. Hmm. I think I can do 10 and 3. Okay. 10 times 3 gives me 30. So I'm going to break it down again. All right. What numbers give me 10? The only two numbers that give me 10 are 2 and 5. And I bring down this 3. Hmm, now I'm looking to see, do I have anything that repeats? Does not look like it, so I cannot circle anything. There are no repeats here. So I have to put these back together, so I multiply them back together, and my answer stays square root of 30. All right, this cannot, cannot simplify. Right? So when something cannot simplify, you multiply whatever it is and put it right back together in the radical. All right, let's do one more here. Let's do it my way here. Let's do example three. All right. You got square root of 150, a square. So I mean the radical. So you got 150, a square, b3. So same concept. I am going to break this down. All right, so we got the 150. I'm going to break that down. I'm going to have the a's and I'm going to have the b's. So let's do the number first. So we can, I think 15 times 10 gives me 150. And then I'm going to do my A's over here and then I'll do my B's. And then I'm going to break this down some more because this can be broken down to 5 and 3. I'll break this down to 5 and what? 2. I'm going to leave that for that. Then I'm going to go home to my letters. I can break that down to 2. And then I'm going to do the same thing for my B's. I can break that down to three of them. All right, so now I'm gonna come through here, I'm gonna find things that um, are the same. I have two fives that are the same. 
So that means I can pull out a 5. I only have one 3 and I only have one 2, so I'm just going to pull out a 5. All right? Then I come to my letters and see if I can pull anything out. Hmm, I can circle this because I have two A's, so that means I can pull out an A. Then I come to my B's and I circle. I have two B's, so I can pull out a B. Then I put the radical symbol. Whatever's left has to be multiplied back together. So 3 times 2 gives me 6. All right? And then I come here to see if I have any A's left. I don't have any A's, so I do not put an A here. But I do have a B. And then I'm done. And I box that up. All right? Again, if, if you're struggling with these, um, just make sure you just watch the video again. And also during class time, I'll, um, I can help you guys as you're working on your work. So let's do example, one more example. I think I'm going to try to squeeze it on this page. Okay, so there we go. So we got 1,210 R cubed S. Same concept, you got to think about what numbers can give you this. And I'm pretty sure I could do 121 and 10. I'm just going to do the numbers first. Right. I already know that 11 times 11 gives me 120, I mean 121, so I can put two 11s. And then I'm going to go ahead and break this down, which is 5 and 2. I'm going to come to my R's. I used to have three of them. I mean, yeah. And sometimes when you get a pattern, you kind of can figure out how many R's and stuff to pull out. Um, but if you cannot see that, go ahead and list them all. And then I have one S. So I'll just bring that one S. Okay. So I'm going to come down here and see, do I have anything that repeats that I have two of the same thing? Oh, I got two 11s, so I can circle. These don't repeat, so I leave them, so I can go ahead and pull out 11. Now I'm going to come over to my R's. I can circle two there, so now I can pull out one R, like that. Then I come to look at my S. Mm -mm, I only got one. So I go ahead now and put the radical symbol, and then I come back to my numbers. Again, if you have multiple stuff, you just multiply them back together. So that would be 5 times 2, which is just 10. I come to look to see if I have any R's left. I have how many R's? 1. So I bring down 1 R. And I have an S. So I have to bring down my S. And now I'm done. All right. That's it for that.